cooking on the side. Today's recipe is fairly simple with only four main ingredients which are potatoes, cheese, eggs, and flour. It is called tocine, which is the Romanian version of potato pancakes. Potato pancakes are a lot more common in European cuisines, but it's also kind of similar to American hash browns, except that tocine has cheese, eggs, and flour added into the mixture. All right, so let's begin. As you have seen during the intro, the potatoes are washed, peeled, and shredded. I have also squeezed out some of the moisture, and this is done in order for the potatoes to brown more evenly and quickly during frying, which as a result makes our tocine crispier on the outside. In this recipe, I am using about 10 potatoes, 300 grams of cheese, 70 grams of flour, three medium eggs, and salt and pepper to taste. As I have mentioned earlier, this recipe is super simple, so you may go ahead and mix everything together in a large bowl, starting with your shredded potatoes, your grated cheese, flour, eggs, and salt and pepper. So one note about the cheese in this recipe is that ideally you are using a medium or semi-hard yellow cheese, but honestly use whatever cheese you have that's available to you or whatever you prefer because I think that you should be able to express what represents you, especially when you are cooking for yourself or your friends and family. Anyway, after my potato mixture is done, I will be frying them in a pan using vegetable oil. In medium heat, fry each side until it's nicely brown, which is about 5 minutes for each side. I am using 2 tablespoons to make round shapes directly in the pan, but you can also use your hands to make the general shape of the tocine before putting them in the pan. Both work, so do whichever works for you. After 5 minutes, flip each of the tocine for the other side to fry and then wait for another 5 minutes or until it is golden brown before taking them out from the pan to cool down. And then I did this for the rest of the mixture and that's it. So I am just plating the tocine, not forgetting the sour cream on the side which is really really important. I sprinkled the tocine with some freshly chopped green onions just to add some zing into the dish and that's really it. It's, it's super easy to make, which is great for a comfort food. That's it guys. I hope you like this video and if you have any comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye!